going on, YouTube? It's Andy, the Parrot Head Picker, coming at you with a uh, little weekend sales update video. This is uh, for Saturday and Sunday. These are the uh, items I sold over the past two days. Uh, I know typically on Monday I do my Making Money Monday videos for you guys. Uh, I didn't get one out last week. I uh, had a ton of stuff going on. Um, and since there's only about three days left in the month, I think I'm just going to uh, do that here later in the week. And uh, we'll just do a total uh, monthly wrap-up video, and then I'll show you all my numbers uh, and everything for what we actually did for the month, um, you know, what I ended up uh, grossing and what we ended up netting, what I ended up paying, and my average costs uh, for for everything. So um, anyway, yeah, th this, these are just the items that I sold uh, just this weekend. I'm down here uh, packing stuff up, and I figured I'd uh, put this together for you real quick, and i do a little video. I got a lot going on this afternoon, so... Uh, yeah, time is kind of precious today. Um, those of you who haven't followed me before, you know, who don't know me or haven't seen me, I, you know, I do work full-time jobs. So, uh, Mondays are my day off. I work four days a week, Tuesday through Friday. So, uh, Monday's my catch-up day. I got, you know, I got a lot of, uh, I got a lot of shipping to do, uh, go, you know, go pay bills, running, uh, you know, just get caught up on the things, uh, you know, from, from the, from the weekend and what have you. So anyway, um, yeah, we'll jump into it. I'll show you what all I sold, uh, show you the numbers that we ended up doing. Um, things started to pick up a little bit this week. Um, if you watch Making Money Monday 25, um, you've seen that uh, we we're uh, trending at about $110 a day, um, which is really good. Uh, it fell off a little bit week three and then definitely started to pick back up uh, this week here. So like I said, this is just a sales for this weekend. Uh, Saturday and Sunday, so we'll jump into it, and I'll uh, show you what we sold. Um, sold 12 items. I've only gotten paid for 11, but I will show you the 12th item, so uh, I just sent an invoice out, so hopefully I get paid for that. Um, it's a really cool uh, item, and uh, I had a nice little haul this week. Um, I put together a haul video, and it, it kind of was corrupt, so um, yeah, that's it. it all ended up going by the wayside, but uh, anyway, yeah, I'll touch all, on all that here in just a little bit. So we'll jump into it, and uh, I'll show you what all we did. Okay, yeah, if you look down here at the bottom, uh, you can see I had 11 sales uh, for, looks like, uh, 254.20. So not too bad for the weekend. Um, again, you know, I mean, still pretty much trending at about $110, $120 a day. Um, you know, obviously that's before fees and shipping and all that sort of stuff, but still not too bad. Um, and then, like I said, uh, I do have one item that, you know, it's not reflecting on here um, that I just haven't gotten paid for. So uh, I will show you that too as well. So we'll scroll up here, um, and like I, said, I, I, like I said, I'm gonna do something just a little bit different um, than I had before. Excuse me. Um, let me move this over to the other side. There we go. And uh, I'm gonna show you my numbers from a different location. Um, first up, uh, I've got this Nike Golf. Um, I sold this. Uh, I don't know if you can see this here, but uh, yeah, it's just a regular Nike Golf polo shirt. Um, then this is how I do stuff, guys. Um, for those of you who haven't seen, you know, all my stuff gets uh, put in these uh, 10 by 13 cello bags, and then you know I usually use the little uh, "Thank you for your business" uh, stickers. Um, I do have a video out on how I pack and ship shirts, so you guys should check that out. Um, and I can maybe put this at the end as well. Um, so yeah, I got uh, what 16.99 out of that free shipping. You know, just regular uh, Nike dry fit polo shirt, nothing exciting. Uh, and up next, I had this uh, Polo Ralph Lauren, just a purple pocket t-shirt. You know, nothing special. Uh, I got $10 out of that, plus uh, I had the buyer pay shipping, so I got $4 shipping out of that. That ended up being uh, $13.99. Um, this item here, um, this is a really cool item. and I know it's hard to tell in this bag. Um, now, if you notice, this one here doesn't have the sticker on the front, uh, but the sticker goes on the back. So these here are 12 by 15 bags. Um, this is all for all my heavy items, uh, like jeans and whatnot. I put them in these 12 by 15 bags, and uh, then these will go in the uh, flat rate bubble, uh, priority bubble mailers. Um, and, anyway, and then I use the, um, uh, since these aren't self-seal bags, I'll use the sticker to uh, kind of hold the flap closed on them. So, But anyway, yeah, this is a really neat uh, Snoop Dogg. Um, oh, I want to call it like a full zip jacket. I've had this jacket about two and a half years. Um, excuse me. Uh, let's see here. Um, I sold that for uh, $25.49 and uh, buyer paid shipping. Uh, I've had this thing priced all over the map. You know, I always get watchers. I always get looks on it, but it's just one of those items, you know, that I, I thought was really, really cool when I first found it. And it's just, you know, I suppose it's been a pricing thing. Um, so I've just 
you know, uh, probably over the last three, four months, I, I was like, I got to get rid of this thing. I actually thought about putting it up for auction because I do get a lot of uh, views and stuff like that on it. But, uh, you know, I just never get any bites. So uh, I figured, you know, what, I'm just going to get this thing dropped down as far as I can go with it. And uh, we'll see what happens. But, uh, yeah, you can see I ended up getting uh, $25.49 out of that. Uh, really cool item. And I'll show you that in the... Uh, uh, Oh, end of the month uh, sales update video is like I said, it's a really cool item. Uh, let's see what we got next. Just a Ralph Lauren shirt sleeve custom fit. Okay, that's just a just your basic Ralph Lauren custom fit polo shirt. Uh, you know, purple with uh, this kind of like a lime green stripe. I actually had a uh, the buyer actually wrote me. She would, you know, I mean, I, I think I take pretty good pictures, uh, but she was trying to figure out what color the stripe was. I told her uh, the photos are pretty accurate, but I would say it's lime green. Uh, so anyway, uh, she jumped on it. Like I said, it was uh, $16.99, free shipping. Uh, not a bad little deal there. Um, you know, a lot of people say Ralph Lauren's dead. Uh, you can't sell Ralph Lauren, blah, 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 blah. It's oversaturated. Yeah, it is oversaturated, but, you know, I think if you price your stuff accordingly, um, you know, it'll sell. And, uh, you know, I, I sold quite a few Ralph Lauren items actually this weekend. So, you know what I mean? In two days, I don't know, I probably got five or six uh, Ralph Lauren items that went. So... Um, not too bad. Uh, I sold a pair of jeans. Uh, these are just regular Levi's uh, 560s. And these are, uh, I believe, 4230s. Then, you know, you can see where, you know, I just put a little tag on the back. Holds the flap closed. Then these are going, uh, like I said, the priority uh, bubble mailer. Anyway, yeah. Been uh, been picking up a few more jeans. As long as I can get them under 3 bucks, uh, you know, for kind of, we'll just call it mainline jeans, like the Levi's and uh, Carhartt's, uh, American Eagle, that sort of stuff. I can get those under three bucks. I'll pick jeans up pretty much all day long. I do charge shipping. Uh, so I got twenty five forty nine out of those plus buyer paid shipping. Uh, so it ended up being uh thirty two sixty nine for a pair of used Levi's. So not too bad. And like I said, I think I, I know I didn't pay more than three dollars for them. I just I refuse to pay more than three bucks for a pair of jeans. Um, and do, 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 do. let's see what we got next. Oh, okay. Uh, sold this, uh, this is brand new with tags, Polo Ralph Lauren, you can see it has the, uh, the new tag on it there, or new label, um, you know, just regular basic polo shirt, uh, I got $33.99 out of that, free shipping, um, not too bad, I, I had that priced at, uh, $39.99, and, uh, I had it on sale this weekend, so, uh, so I got kind of like the odd price there, but, uh, yeah, anyway, buyer jumped on that, um, let's see, what do we got next, okay, Sold this uh, Brooks Brothers, just regular Brooks Brothers 346 polo shirt. You know, nothing crazy. Um, actually, this is the second time I sold this shirt. This shirt came back. Uh, I got a return on it. Um, the buyer just said that uh, it didn't fit um, for, you know, whatever reason. So I was more than happy to take the return back on that. And I sold it with, I resold it within a week. So I got uh, $16.99 out of that. Free shipping. Uh, and I think I only paid a dollar for that shirt. Uh, I think it was one of my one, two, three pickups. Um, so, you know, like I said, uh, you know, for a dollar, I don't mind selling stuff for, you know, 17 bucks, you know, when I'm paying uh, another $3 for shipping. I've only got $4 into it. So, I mean, I'm still making $12 on, uh, on my item. So, but, you know, normally I have those listed at $19.99 and then, you know, I'll run a sale here or there. Um, and sometimes, you know, people jump on it, but normally uh, I, I typically... Uh, do get full asking price, but uh, sometimes, you know, I'm just trying to move some inventory. I'll drop a sale on something. Um, this here, uh, so this Tommy Bahama, double extra large, just a quarter zip pullover, relax. Um, actually, if you probably watched a couple of my videos, I think I actually have this on in a video. Uh, this is my size. I've worn this a couple of times. Uh, I guess one of the joys of being a uh, clothing reseller is, you know, uh, you can, uh, you know, wear, wear some of the uh, fruits of your labor. So, um, and yes, I washed it uh, before I uh, put it up for uh, auction, or not auction, but uh, for sale. Um, I got, uh, what did we get out of that? Got twenty five forty nine. Um, I think I had that listed for twenty nine ninety nine and uh, free shipping, but uh, I went for $25, bucks, um, and I paid the shipping on that. So still, I was okay with that. Um, you know, it's it wasn't a pristine shirt by any means. Um, it was something that, like I said, I pretty much just picked up for myself. And then after I got it, wore it a couple times, I just decided I had... I'm just going to move it. So, um, anyway, yeah, that was that sale. Uh, then we sold this, uh, this is a Ralph Lauren Blake, just short sleeve, uh, button front shirt. It's a really nice shirt here. Um, 
And what did we get out of that? I got a 2549 out of that. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, wow, that was actually a really good price for that one. Um, and that one must have been one of the ones I, I think I had that listed at 29 and uh, I had that on sale because that's not typically where I would list that shirt. Um, yeah, normally my, my short sleeve shirts I list at 24 um, in the Ralph Lauren's. That way then I can uh, put a sale on it and I'll get it down to about 19 um, And then my long sleeve ones I will typically um, list at 29 and That way when I put them on sale, they go down to about 24 so uh, this one here, I must have priced at 29 But anyway, yeah, definitely happy with that sale. I'll take 25 bucks all day for button front Ralph Lauren. Um, then I sold, uh, okay, I've been trying to get rid of a bunch of my mugs. Uh, you know, it's just one of those things, you know, when you start out reselling, uh, mugs are cheap. They're easy to, to, to find and grab. Um, so I ended up selling this. This guy's really cool. It's a, it's a 3D Mickey mug. Um, you can see how he's, uh. Like the, the face protrudes. Um, and then this is the other thing that's really cool with this. And I don't know how well you can see this. Um, let's zoom in. Uh, but it's made in Japan. Um, anything made in Japan, um, usually on like the Disney stuff and what have you, is really good to keep an eye out for. Um, it's the older stuff. Um, but anyway, I've had that up for a little while. I screwed up apparently when I put this up for auction. I forgot to charge shipping on this. Uh, so I got eight fifty. I had. Looks like there was uh, 32 uh, people viewed this. Um, I had five bids, and it went for 850. I started at 99 cents, and I thought I had shipping on there, so I kind of screwed the pooch on that deal. I only paid 50 cents for it. I'm still gonna make money on it. Um, this one's actually a little lighter than normal, so this is gonna come in super, super close as far as weight. Uh, I'm hoping I can get it first class, um, and if I can, you know, that's gonna get me under four bucks so I mean at least you know I might make two or three dollars on it uh, but otherwise if this goes priority it's probably gonna be about 560 so uh, I'm not sure so but it, this is definitely a little lighter um, than a typical mug um, all my mugs go in a box um, you know I don't I don't do the FOMO method uh, if you guys aren't familiar with FOMO or don't know what that is um, you guys can uh, Google that or YouTube it, but uh, pretty much and essentially it's uh, you wrap that up in uh, bubble wrap and then you shove it in a uh, one of the flat like uh, flat mailers, the little cardboard mailers. I can't do that, man. That's just uh, that's just not how I roll. Uh, there's tons of people out there, and there's some really really big sellers uh, that are that are known to do it. They say they never have a problem. Uh, I, I look at it this way: it's you know it's it's gonna maybe cost me another two dollars to ship. Yeah, I screwed up on it. That's my fault. So guess what? I'm gonna eat that cost. Uh, but all my mugs always go in a box. Uh, I've never had an issue shipping mugs. Uh, but you know that's okay. Uh, last but not least, um, I grabbed this the other day. Um, I thought about keeping this for myself. Um, this is Ralph Lauren Double Extra Large Linen Short Sleeve Shirt. Uh, yeah, I thought about keeping that for myself, but, uh, you know, I got twenty nine ninety nine out of that. Um, and, yeah, I know I just said something about uh, I don't normally price my short sleeve shirts uh, that high, but, one, it's linen. Linen, I always price higher. Linen always sells really quick. If you've watched my last two uh, sales update videos, um, I've sold a bunch of linen stuff. Um, usually, linen is gone in a week for me. Um, I typically don't ever have a problem getting rid of linen. Um, and being in a big size, a double extra large, um, that definitely helps. Uh, like I said, I was going to keep that shirt for myself, but uh, I figured I'd put it up and uh, see what happens with it. So anyway, guys, yeah, that was my 11 sales this week or for this weekend for uh, Saturday and Sunday. So not too bad, you know, nothing exciting, uh, you know, a lot of clothes. Um, and, you know, as you can see, like I said, we did uh, 254. Now I'm going to jump in and show you the item that I'm waiting for payment on. Um, so hopefully I get payment on that today. I did send an invoice out. Um, check this out, guys. Oh, I sold these um, Harley Davidson patches. Um, I've got them already all packaged up. Um, yeah, I, I bag everything, guys. Everything gets bagged. Um, if it's a DVD, a video game, like I said, these patches. Um, I scored this Harley Davidson lot um, over the past weekend. I picked up 140 items um, for a dollar a piece. Uh, which was a great price uh, to get 140 uh, Harley items, and it was all sorts of stuff. Um, it, it didn't matter. I just we ended up just working it out, and uh, I pretty much paid a dollar an item. So uh, you know, and these here are, are used um, sewn patches. I mean, you can see on the back here. Um, let me zoom in on it. But yeah, I mean, these still have material and stuff like that on them. But these, yeah, I mean, these are used patches. 
uh, I had uh, these, I had 17 bids on this, um, so uh, I put it up for auction because I wasn't sure exactly how to price these. Um, but yeah, I got a 2350 plus. I made a pay shipping, so um, yeah, great deal there on you know something I basically have four dollars in. So uh, super happy with that. Um, you guys, we see a bunch more Harley stuff. I got a ton of it to go through and get listed. Um, I do have a few things up already, but uh, that's the first one that's sold. Um, so hopefully, yeah, yeah, you guys will be seeing uh, some more of that. Like I said, I put together the huge Harley Hall video uh, for you guys, and it ended up being corrupted. Uh, I was really, really disappointed in that, and I wasn't going to go back and lay all that stuff back out uh, and then try to uh, refilm it and everything else. It's just, it's just way too much stuff. But I had a lot of really, really cool items. Uh, you know, some stuff was uh, worth some pretty good money in there too. So, you know, I I'm hoping to at least quadruple my money. Um, I, I think I should have no problem at all with that. I, I mean, I I'm sure that $140 haul is going to net me close to probably 600 bucks. Um, I think I'm going to be somewhere in, in that neighborhood. Uh, I had a couple things I can't sell. Um, a couple of them are uh, full um, beers. Um, I got like some Harley Sturgis um, seal, you know, sealed bottles of beer and what have you. So, um, you know, you can't sell uh, alcohol on eBay, but, uh, you know, I might be able to sell those on uh, like a local Facebook group or, uh, you know, offer up, let go. I'm not sure. Um, actually, if any of you guys know if you can sell um, uh, like collectible full bottles of um, alcohol on uh, offer up or let go, please let me know in the comments. Uh, I would really, really appreciate that because that's definitely something that I'm, I'm not, you know, I, I don't know. So, we totally appreciate that. But anyway, guys, um, yeah, I think that's going to do it. Um, if, if you liked how I did this video this time, like I said, it's a little different than I normally do. Um, you know, let me know in the comments below. I'd really appreciate that. Um, you know, give me a thumbs up uh, if you like this sort of thing. Definitely, um, if you guys haven't seen me before, this may be your first time. Hit the subscribe button. Um, there's a little bell up at the top. Click the little bell. It'll give you notifications whenever I upload stuff or if I go live or anything like that. Um, and then, uh, you know, hey, if you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. Uh, you know, I got my, I got, I, I got a hater. I got a hater or two out there. So, you know, I'm a big boy. I can handle a thumbs down. Uh, either way, the thumbs down helped me. Uh, you know, I mean, I don't get paid for these. Uh, there's a lot of guys that get paid for YouTube videos and what have you. But, uh, the thumbs up, just let me know that you guys like this sort of stuff. And, uh, you know, if, if you guys give me a thumbs down or what have you, you know, let me, let me, let me know what I can, uh, change or what I need to do to, uh, you know, make things a little better for everybody. So, Anyway, uh, that's going to wrap it up. That's going to do it. Thanks for watching, everybody. And as always, fins up. Bye, everybody.